guys welcome back to my channel Whew. tonight we're gonna do something that I hardly do here on my channel and that is my favorites video my favorite products also I have a few products that um we're gonna talk about that are not so much my favorite actually I can't stand them and I wasted my money on them so we're gonna get started guys it is so hot in my filming studio so if you hear the air conditioner running in the background, please excuse that. I am very sorry. But if I did not have it running, this makeup would be melting, like running off my face right now. So please just uh, ignore the background, the background noise. I was about to say music. Ignore the background noise. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go through pro these products like in the, I guess, the order that I use them. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I really did not want to promote uh, this company's products here on my channel because I really have not promoted them since uh, they sent James Charles the Chipotle palette and he did that whole video on it. Y'all know if you follow me on social media how I feel about James Charles, but hey, it's a good product. So if it makes your makeup look good, I'm here to tell you about it if you haven't already heard about it. So, the first product that, um, after you moisturize, you can use any kind of moisturizer. I'm not, like, too big on the whole moisturizer. Like, ooh, this is the best. Ooh, I gotta use Tatcha. I don't get into all that. But the primer that I do use is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is really, really good primer. Like, this, I live for this. Like, this makes my makeup look a whole lot better than any other primer I've ever used. So this is my favorite primer. All right, moving on from there. I gotta do it again, y'all. I gotta do it again. I have done it too. I have spent a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money on foundations. Let me tell you what, these bad boys right here, you see how wore out that is? Yeah, sister gets a lot of use. She's gotten a lot of use out of this. Wore the rotten off of the container. These e.l.f. Um, acne fighting foundations, these are really the bomb. Like, they're $6, I think, at Target. $6. These are like some of the best foundations I have ever used. Ever. Um, so, yeah, I gotta put them in here because they're really good. They're really good foundations. Really good. Go to Target, get this, $6. Moving on. So, when it comes to contouring, I used to not be like a big contour because, I mean, let's just face it. I'm a little thick guy. I'm thick. I don't have cheekbones. I don't. I don't have cheekbones. So, you know what? For a long time, I, I didn't sculpt. I didn't sculpt any cheeks because guess what? They weren't there. And then I came across this product because I was like watching all the beauty gurus on YouTube and I was like, but I want cheekbones. I deserve cheekbones. Thick folks deserve cheekbones too and a little contour. So I happened to stumble across this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour stick. I love this thing. Let me tell you what. Once you get this in your life, you're never going to be able to go without it. This is my favorite con for contouring. Absolute favorite. It's a little pricey now. This little tube. Now, this one's gotten a little use out of it. You don't get a ton of product. I'm just going to show you. That's all you get. I've used a little bit of it. Not a whole, whole lot out of this tube. This tube is $25, I believe. $25 or $29. But let me tell you what. It's pricey but it is so worth it. This is the best for contouring. Okay, moving on. We're moving on along. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I get acne. I have a scar right here. Even with color correctors and stuff and concealers, my scar dents in, so it's still noticeable. But let me tell you what, when it comes to color correcting, you do not have to spend a fortune going over to the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I said it, Dollar Tree. It gets, oh, the cats are fighting, do you hear them? <laughs> Go to the Dollar Tree 
and get some of these LA colors. I have them like in every color, like legit, every color. These are the bomb, the bomb color correctors. So good. Live for these. Live for those color correctors. Okay. I'm trying to like go. Oh yeah. So when it comes to contouring, I use the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills contour stick. But I also go over with the Hula. This is just a small one. Let me tell you what. You do not need to go get a huge thing of Hula. A mini will last you forever. This is like $15, I think, at like Ulta. This will last you forever. Forever, this little small thing. It's like, like I said, it's $15, I believe. Don't go buy the big one. Don't. Okay. Next. Woo! Okay. Um, the next that I'm going to go into is, okay, we all need to conceal a little something, right? So, I will say this. I have two. I have two. They are my absolute favorites. I have tried every concealer you can imagine. I have a bag, like a gallon bag of concealers. So, it is the, once again, I gotta go there, but... This is 100%. I want you guys to have like really good products at affordable prices. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating and Camo Concealer. This, uh, it's less than $10. This is super good, super good. Then also, um, Revolution, they have a concealer. This is really good, but I'm gonna say this. When you use this, make sure you hydrate under your eyes really well. Because this one is prone, if you have wrinkles under your eyes, this one is prone to emphasizing those wrinkles. It's getting a little warmer here, you guys. See, I'm, my face is getting a little glistening. So, this is, this is good. But if you have wrinkles, just make sure you hydrate under your eyes really, really well. Okay. Moving on up. Okay, so when you are done and you are ready to powder. I'm going in the in the order that I go in. Um, when you're ready to powder your face, I have two powders that I use. Okay, and that is this baby right here. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I am cheap when it comes to some stuff. I am cheap. But the Hourglass Veil, it's still in her box. She is still in her box. That is how expensive she was and how much I love her. She is still in her box. She comes out of her box when I get ready to do these videos and then she goes back in her box. That is how much I love her and how expensive she was. I think this thing of setting powder was $45. It's like the best setting powder though. I love it. So, and usually what I do, this is just what I do. So I, I, I flip flop between but a lot of times I'll use the Cody Airspun and then I'll go over with the Hourglass and dust my whole face. I'm looking real like, real, <laughs> real glowy right now. So I probably need some on this face cause I'm, I'm starting to get warm. I'm starting to get a little, little real, real dewy. I'm looking real, real dewy. So, but these are my two favorite setting powders. This one is like $4.97 or $5.97 at Walmart. This bad boy, like I said, it'll cost you a little money. Cost you a little coin. Okay? So, moving on from there. <sighs> Y'all aren't gonna like this one either. Okay? Y'all are not gonna like this. So, but, the Kat Von D, I don't know what it is now. This has lasted me a very long time. I kind of flip-flop. This is, like, really one of my favorite. This is the Kat Von D. I know it's called something else now that she sold the company, but it's the Locket, um, the Locket uh, eyeshadow primer. This is really good. This is really good primer, really good. Uh, I think I found this one, to be honest. I stocked up, because when I find this, I like stock up. I got this at TJ Maxx. It was real cheap, real cheap. I don't know if they still have this on their website, whatever Kat Von D is called now. I know it's the still same initials, but they don't call her it Kat Von D or whatever anymore. But this is the bomb eyeshadow primer. I love it. I kind of skipped the tools, but we're going to go back and touch on them real quick, okay? So, 
while I'm telling y'all about going and getting those color correctors at the Dollar Tree, this uh, eyelash curler, it came from the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. Let me tell you what, this is the best, ooh, my lash. This is the best eyelash curler that I've ever used, and it was a dollar. Go get you a couple. Uh, I got this one, and then I saw in one of Laura Lee's videos that she actually got this too, and she praised it. This is a really, really good eyelash curler. Y'all will not be disappointed. Not be disappointed. Okay, moving on. So this is the palette, the look that I did tonight. I used two palettes. This is the first one, and it is the Revol I have a lot of Revolution products. A lot of them are really good, but some of them you will get, and they're not so good. They're like, uh, I've used their foundation, but I didn't like it. I used some of their contour uh, powder. It was horrible. I tried every shade that they had. I took every one of them back to Ulta. They were garbage. And I took the foundation and I tried. I tried like three shades of the foundation, garbage i hated it but their eyeshadow is usually right on i have all the color books um but this is what i use to make to create this look tonight this and the palette i'm fixing to talk about i love this these little palettes they're amazing it's the neon series i don't know if you can still get them but i picked this one up and i love it my eyes look a little bit like macaroni and cheese tonight but guess what that's okay moving on this is called uh, Cara Beauty. Uh, I found this in TJ Maxx. Let me see if I can get this without the mirror. This, there's some really... Now, it, when I opened it up, the red was broke. She was already broke. I didn't break her. Okay. I opened it up. I got one in plastic. And I was like, oh, yes. Yeah, we done hit gold. Poor little, poor little red eyeshadow. She was broken. It made my heart sad, but I still use it. I still use it like it ain't broke. Like it's brand spanking new, just got pressed. This is a really good palette to do like really good bright colors with. I love this palette. Absolutely love it. You can buy, on, you can find, I found this one at TJ Maxx, like I said, but you can also shop online and get their, um, find their palettes too. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know that this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I've done many a video with it, many, and done a video on it. This is my absolute favorite palette, and it's the Be Perfect um, Carnival palette, and it's, this is the uh, Stacey Marie palette, which she has a lot of collaborations with them. I think there's three now. Man, let me tell you what. Robert Welch like, turned me on to this palette. It is an amazing palette. They have another one now that I really, really want that I need to order. It's got so many more sh shadows, and I'm like, when I saw it, I was like, you guys know if you're makeup connoisseurs, when you see a palette, you start like, drooling a little bit, and you're like, I have to have that palette. I have to have that palette. That's what the new one is like for me. But this is it. You see, it's gotten a lot of use, a lot of use. These are some of the best eyeshadows I have ever used. Best. Um, it's not that... It's not that super expensive. I think it's less than $50. I think. $50 or $60, I believe. I love this palette. Absolutely love it. And and as they go to the next volume of them, like I said, I think there's three of them now. They get a little cheaper. So, this is a really good palette to get. I know they still have it on their website. So, if you don't have it, pick it up. You can do amazing looks with it. Okay, moving on. Let me tell you what. I, I kind of skipped over this, and I'm sorry. I'm in a little, a little everywhere. I'm not trying to be. I lined everything up in order, but you know, I'm a little, I, I'm just a little out there. Um, so when I first started doing makeup, it was like when beauty blenders really became popular, and I was like, I can't do makeup with anything other than a beauty blender. That's all I use. Legit, I had so many beauty blenders. I have spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on beauty blenders. She's not that great. But let me tell you what, head on over to Target Beauty, or sometimes you can get them at Five Below. Get you one of these bad boys right here. They're the Real Technique sponges. I have a million of these bad boys. These are the best uh, sponges I have ever used. And trust me, I have used a lot. I have used a lot. 
best sponge. I think this is like $4.97 at Target Beauty. Okay, so moving on along. So I have done a video on this too. You guys know that I love uh, Sonia Kashuk brushes. You see this? I have like five of these because I am so OCD. So OCD that somebody, something's going to happen to my brushes. I'm going to run out of brushes. I bought like five of these. And I just keep them in my beauty room just lined up for whenever I'm ready to open the next one. I have one for traveling. I mean, I have one for here. I have one for, I have a set for clients. Man, these brushes. This is the rose gold um, collection. I don't think they sell it at Target anymore. But this was my favorite collection. But they have like a set for beginners. They have a set for um, like, uh, like a mid-class. This is like part of their mid-class. And this is my favorite. It's got soft touch uh, handles on it. You have to clean them. I mean, I clean my brushes after like every time I use, use them because I want them to last. So these do have soft touch um, handles. They can get a little dirty, but if you clean them, they'll last you like forever. I love these brushes, guys. Love these brushes. All right, we are winding on down. Let me tell you what. When I first started makeup, I thought that I had to use Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray because that's what all the beauty uh, beauty gurus use, and I was like, I gotta have it. I got to have All Night All Nighter setting spray. Let me tell you what, All Nighter is good. It is good. I still have it over there in, in my beauty console. Okay, it is a good setting spray. But let me turn you turn you on to something real quick. Now, if you like like a dewy look, me, I like I like to be pr pretty matte. But if you like a dewy look to you, like a glow, this Wet n Wild right here, this is the Mega Glow, um, the me I, I, I can't read French. So this is the Mega Glow uh, setting spray. I absolutely love this setting spray. It does leave you a little dewy, but I love this stuff. So when you're going to put your lashes on, I got a little wonky lash right now. You guys know I'm like the king of a wonky lash. So you guys know when it comes to lashes, I love lashes. I got a set of wonky lashes on right now. I reuse lashes as long as I can. I use Duo Glue. That's the best glue. That is what I use when I put my, my, put my lashes on. I absolutely love this um, glue. It's my favorite. I have it in black. I have it in clear. It is the best glue. So that is what I use for glue. Now, if you saw my last video, I've always been afraid to try magnetic lashes. Till my friend sent me a set of these lashes to try. These Tory Bell Cosmetic Lashes, these are the Magnitude Lashes. Let me tell you what, if you watched my last video, you saw how astonished I was. How, I, I'm not the best at liner on myself, but once I got the liner on, these bad boys practically put themselves on. I, I see why people talk about how good uh, magnetic lashes are, if it's a good brand. These, ToriBaleCosmetics.com, these are amazing. They practically put themselves on, no joke. So I love those. Those are my magnetic lash picks. When you done got your lashes on, you just gotta put your mascara on, right? This is my go-to. It's Jeremy Vandiver Volume Mascara. It's all I use. It's all I use. Everybody's always telling me like, oh, try this, try this. I have tried every mascara out there. This is the one I always go back to because it's my favorite. It, I, I love this formula. It's my baby. It's my from my brand. So, but yeah, this is my favorite mascara. So those are all of my favorite products right there. So now I'm going to talk about <laughs> something that some folks probably aren't going to like me too much for talking about. So, one night I had went into Ulta. There's a display in Ulta. It's a Morphe display. They got a new foundation now, right? If you buy a foundation, you get this foundation brush. So I'm like, damn, let me get the hookup because I... 
you get a free foundation brush. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me try. And it was a new foundation. I was like, I am forever always trying a new foundation. So I was like, damn, let me try this new foundation, right? Let me try it. Let me get my free brush. This crap right here. The bit, I might as well just take it in a $20 bill and flush it right on down the toilet. This is the Morphe uh, Filter Effects Foundation. I hate, hate this crap. You hear me? I hate this foundation. It looks horrible on my skin. I have tried multiple, multiple shades. It, I can't get it to match my skin. I hate this foundation. Oh, of course, like matching your skin tone, that's, that's not really Morphe's fault. This is not a good foundation. This shows every bit of texture on you. I don't like how it sits. It cracks. I hate this foundation. So, moving on along. Moving on along. You know, I like to go to Walmart, to Target, Five Below. I love a good deal on a beauty product. But like I said, that Wet n Wild setting spray right here, the bomb, okay? The bomb. Let me tell you what ain't the bomb from Wet n Wild. It is these contour sticks. Do you hear me? They come in a, a buttload of colors. I bought a whole bunch of them because I wanted to try them. This is junk. This, it looked like I took a orange Crayola marker and tried to contour my, my face with it. I, I it, it was like the shade of pumpkin when I put it on. I hate these. I hate them. I hate them. Worst. That's one of the worst things I ever spent my money on too. Okay. Moving on to another product. And I'm not just here just like bashing these brands. I just don't want you to spend your money and it be a waste. You know what I'm saying? I want you to get your money's worth out of a product because let me tell you what. I go to work every day too. I, I know how hard you got to work for your coins. And I know you want to buy a product that is really good and it's worth your money. This Revolution setting powder. This ain't it. This is not it. I forgot even what this one is, to be honest with you. I tried it a couple of times. Dog, it looked like dog doo-doo on my face, to be honest with you. It looked like purity crap. Purity crap. I, I was like, mm -mm, nope, never again. But you know what? And I would have took it back. But I know the type, the folks at Ulta get tired tired of me coming in there and being like, this didn't work out. I just, and sometimes you don't want to go. You don't, you're just like, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. And that's what I've done. And I got stuck with it. So you see that this is supposed to close. It doesn't like th put this in your makeup bag and go somewhere. This crap is going to be all in your makeup bag. Mm -mm. Don't do it. I saved this one. <laughs> I saved this one for last because it is, it's not a bad product. Let me just say that. It's not a bad product. I loved this palette when I got it. Absolutely loved it. You could do all kinds of things with it. But let me just show you. Let me just show you. And she's gotten some used to. There's been a many a face done with this palette. You hear me? Do I have to say anything else? Do I? Let me tell you what. I will never, never buy another Morphe product, ever, just because of all the mess that Morphe is involved in and what the people that they put on their rosters are involved in. And then it takes a million contrillion people protesting and boycotting the brand before they separate themselves from these troublesome YouTubers and beauty gurus. I don't even know why I still have this thing, to be honest with you. It's nothing now but a dust collector. Let me tell you, the product is not a bad product. This name right here, I can't stand behind this name. I can't. Just because of things, well, y'all know the whole, the whole spill about it. I can't. I can't stand behind it. I will never buy another Morphe product again just because, because they don't listen to their customers and because it takes them forever to 
disassociate themselves with troublesome people. So that's that's the gist of it on that Morphe spiel. Okay, so we have gotten through this video. <laughs> I know it's a long video, guys. I know. I really hope that this video will help you guys um, choose some really good products that are worth your money and they'll actually perform really well. I don't want anybody to waste their money. That's why I do videos like this to tell you if it's worth it or not. These are the products that I really hold dear to my heart and then I will repurchase and continue to use. And then there's some products that I ain't never gonna use again. You know what I'm saying? That were a total waste of my money. Total waste of my, my money. But there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that it's really kind of helped you guys to pick products that are really worth your money. Um, so yeah, but thank you guys again for tuning into my channel. Thank you for all the love and support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. This ain't cool.